In this, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about multi-step equations. I'm gonna show you the steps, we're gonna write them out, and then I'm gonna walk you through some examples together. So really, we're just putting it all together. Step one is I'm going to distribute if needed. Sometimes you won't need to distribute. Let me change pins here. Step two, after I distribute, I'm gonna combine like terms. And lastly, I'm gonna solve. And I'm gonna add in a step four here, and it's gonna be check it. This is how you guarantee yourself a 100 on anything we do in math. So let's look at example one together. Remember, I always want my variable on the left-hand side. So if I start here, I can't distribute, there are no parentheses, but I look and I always combine like terms first. So 9x and negative 7x is 2x, positive 1 and negative 5 is negative 4, and I'm setting all that equal to negative 20. And now it just walks me through a basic two-step equation. I have to get x by itself, so I'm going to do additive inverse by adding 4 on both sides because of equality. My negative 4 and 4 cancel out, and I'm left with 2x equals negative 16. Then I divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to negative 8. And I can do a real quick check and plug in negative 8 for x right here. And in my head, I can do 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. A negative 16 and a negative 4 is a negative 20, so it checks out. All right, let's take a look at number 2. So here I have to distribute first. So I'm going to keep 91 on the left-hand side. And I'm going to distribute this negative 7. Negative 7 times 3a is negative 21a. And a negative 7 times a negative 1 is a positive 7. Now, I like my variable on the left-hand side. So uh, there's a couple things you can do here. You can get your constant term on the left by subtracting 7 and subtracting 7. And when I do that, I get 84 equals negative 21a. And to get a by itself, I'm going to divide negative 21 on both sides. And then, excuse me, 84 divided by negative 21 is negative 4 and negative four equals positive a. Again, I'm gonna apply what property right here? Symmetric to make it where a equals negative four. So if I wanted, I'm gonna rewrite this over here. If I wanted to, I can do whatever I want. If I wanted to bring my variable to the left-hand side, I can. I can add 21a to both sides. That's additive inverse. So these guys cancel out. And here I have 21a plus 91. Those are unlike terms, they cannot combine. I set that equal to seven. Subtract 91 on both sides, and I get 21a equals negative 84. And when I divide both sides by 21, I get a equals negative four. I'm gonna get the same answer, it doesn't matter. It just depends where you want your variable to go. All right, let's jump down to example number five, and I'm gonna use the distributive property here. I have 20 by itself. Over here, I keep 10x because the only thing I'm distributing here is this negative six. So I get negative 12x and a negative six and a positive five is negative 30. Now I'm gonna combine like terms, 20's by itself, so he's gonna stay. 10x and negative 12x is negative 2x minus 30. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my 2x to the left-hand side. I just like moving my variables over there. So I'm gonna add 2x to both sides. 2x and 20 are unlike terms. They cannot combine, so I keep them separated. 2x plus 20 equals negative 30. Then I'm subtracting 20 on both sides, and I get 2x equals negative 50. If you can still see that on the camera, I think again. And when I divide both sides by 2, I get x equals negative 25. Just like that. All right, let's jump over to the next page to note section 2. And we're going to do these last two eight and nine because they have fractions in them. So let's go ahead and do those. Um, so remember my steps. Distributive property, negative 25 stays by itself. I get half of 10x is 5x. Half of negative two is negative one, and then plus three x. So I've distributed my one half. Now I'm gonna combine my like terms. Negative 25 stays there. I have five x and three x, which is eight x minus one. Now, in this case, maybe I want to 
take my constant term to the left-hand side. So I'm gonna add one, and I get negative 24 equals 8x. And then now I'm gonna divide both sides by eight, and I get negative three equals x. Am I gonna leave it like that? No. What property am I gonna use? Symmetric, and I'm gonna get x equals negative three. And there is my answer. Okay, let's take a look at number nine because I know how much you guys love fractions. All right, so I keep seven. I'm not distributing seven, so I'm gonna keep him here. I am distributing a negative five halves times eight. Negative times positive is negative. I should be able to do this in my head by cross-reducing two and eight to give me four. Five times four is 20R. Hopefully you're not going to the side of your paper and you know, multiplying fractions and cross reducing and then going straight across. You should be able to do that in your head. And if, again, if you're, if you are struggling and going here, please come see me so we can work that out. And now I'm gonna do negative five halves times negative six. A negative times a negative is a positive. Two and six cancel out to give me three and five times three is 15. And then I finish it out. So I've distributed that negative five halves to the eight R and the negative six and I complete it. So the next step is to combine like terms. So negative 20 and positive two is negative 18 R. Seven and 15 is positive 22, and I set that equal to 32. Additive inverse, so I subtract 22 to both sides. I get negative 18 R equals 10. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by negative 18. And look, that gives me my answer, except, so here it's r equals 10 over negative 18. But the only thing is, it's fractional, which is fine, we live in a fractional world, but I can reduce that. So I'm gonna reduce this fraction. I know two goes into both of those, so r equals five over nine, and that rational number is negative. It really doesn't matter where that negative is, it's just saying this is a negative rational number, so the negative can be on top, the negative can be on bottom, the negative can be out to the side. It's just in the math world, we're used to looking at it where it's kind of close to that numerator. All right, let's do um, number 10 where we're gonna translate and solve. It says five times the difference of twice the number in three. So this is one of those parentheses phrases. So five times what? The difference was your subtraction of twice a number in three. So I have twice a number and I have three and it's asking me for the difference. I know it's a um, parenthesis. And then it says five times the difference of twice a number in three decreased by. So that's more subtraction. And what's it decreased by? The sum of the number in eight. So the sum of the number is addition of the sum of the number and eight. And that is going to equal 13. So five, let's re look at it and read it again. Is it saying five times the difference of twice the number in three decreased by the sum of the number in eight equals 13? Yes, that matches up. So now I'm gonna distribute 10x negative 15 minus x plus eight equals 13. Now, do not start moving variables. You've got to combine your like terms first. So I have 10x and negative x is 9x, negative 15 and a positive eight. Oh, shoot. You know what? Decreased by the sum of the number in eight. Oh, I messed up. So here I messed up. Gosh darn it, that's okay. It's decreased by the sum of a number of eight, all of that. So what happens is I didn't distribute that negative and I should have because it's negative and it's a negative times a positive eight, which is minus eight. So that even tricked me up. So be careful about that because you're decreasing it by a binomial. It has to be in parentheses, which means distributive, pro distributive property. So I get 9x, a negative 15, and a negative 8 is a negative 23, and I set all that equal to 13. And then I'm going to add 23 to both sides to get 9x equals 36. And when I divide both sides by 9, I get x equals 4. Hopefully I didn't mess you up that bad so you can see the mistake that I made and don't you do it. All right, good luck.